clean air, safe water, acid-free rain, U.S. scientists warn all of those could be in jeopardy. They're worried toxic acid rain could make a comeback in the U.S. and Canada because of this. Today, I'm pleased to make the largest deregulatory announcement in U.S. history. It's been a month since the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency announced changes to clean air and water regulations put in place by previous administrations. Worst case is they would be revoked and we'd be back to virtually square one. Worst case, we could see acid rain come back to some degree. So for most of us, acid rain is the stuff of post-apocalyptic fiction. But back in the 70s, coal plants in the Midwest were going full steam and also pumping out pollution that drifted east, bringing real environmental damage to the U.S. and Canada. The sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides from the coal plants mixed with water and oxygen, creating sulfuric and nitric acids, eventually falling as acid rain. I am a, a soil chemist and I've looked at acid rain back in the 70s, uh, which I remember quite well, and even back into the 1960s, of course we had acid rain, we had um, urban smog, it was much worse than it is today. No, acid rain won't melt your face off. But it does have devastating consequences for the environment. Acid pulls aluminum out of the soil, and that aluminum can be toxic to plants and animals. It also washes away important minerals and nutrients that trees need to stay alive. So in the 1980s, the average rainfall in the U.S. was 10 times more acidic than normal. So in our more sensitive, geologically more sensitive areas, aluminum becomes more soluble in the soil. Uh, which can be toxic to certain plant species, particularly maple, sugar maple. You heard that right. Acid rain is particularly bad for maple trees. So perhaps it's no surprise that Canada joined in on the effort to combat it. Back in 1990, both the U.S. and Canada signed an update to the Clean Air Act targeting acid rain by reducing power plant emissions. It's heralded as an environmental success story. Acidity is now almost back to pre-1970 levels. So why roll back those protections now? Well, the current U.S. administration says industrial regulations are costing Americans millions of dollars. EPA will be reconsidering many suffocating rules that restrict nearly every sector of our economy and cost Americans trillions of dollars. But there's a very real concern that rolling back those restrictions comes with a big risk to public health. So could acid rain make a comeback? The full impact of the rollbacks will likely take years to unfold. And it's not clear that coal burning power plants will make a comeback, even if they can. Coal once powered more than half of America's electricity, but with natural gas and renewables taking over, its share has dropped to just 16%. So even with the rules relaxed, coal's comeback isn't guaranteed. If that is the case, I'm not sure then why these regulations that are being listed here uh, needing revision relating to disposal of coal waste and everything, why the emphasis on those if Mr. Zeldin doesn't think that coal is going to be a major player.